I'm very proud, um, really looking forward to it. I went to the game at Bramall Lane because I wanted, I was in the interview process at that time, I wanted to see um, the squad of players and um, I was very impressed with the way that they played, very impressed. That's why I've not made many changes to uh, the squad that Roy picked that night. Roy's obviously called a couple of players up into the senior squad, which is fantastic for them. So um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting started. There's some exciting talent there and there are, um, there's a certain style of football that I'd like to play and there are players in there that I think are capable of doing it. I'm sure they'll have taken a lot of confidence from, from the way that they played and um, winning breeds a good spirit um, and um, they'll face different challenges over the next 10-12 days and um, I'm sure there'll be harder tests than, than maybe they had in August, but um, they, um, Roy was very impressed with the, the way the group wanted to work and learn, and um, I, I'm looking forward to getting to know them and, and uh, implementing some of my own ideas, but also um, helping them develop as players and as people. Roy, you mentioned earlier, and you said it yourself, that he'd taken a couple of the players from the last squad into the seniors. How important for you is it that there is that sort of interaction between the two teams whereby players can move into the seniors and into the 21s as they go on the season. Yes, I think that's, well, the, the key part to that is my relationship with Roy and making sure that we manage that process properly because obviously I have Wilfred Zaha in the under-21 squad this time round um, and uh, Ross Barkley and Raheem Sterling move up but I think next time round that might be, you know, it might be different players that Roy wants to look at. So. It's great that the under-21 players can see that the senior manager is looking at them, he's watching them. Um, I think it was great that he took, the, took them for training last time around. He'll have learned a lot from working with them. They can see there's a possible progression, but also they're at a, an age and a, a level where they've got to keep learning and improving. And um, that part of that might be to come back because playing 90 minutes might be more important than, than just being on the bench or maybe being in the squad but not getting changed. So um, Roy and myself will, will work together on those decisions. Yeah, over the last couple of years, we've been quite used to seeing you on the TV, you know, doing the summarising and punditry. Is coaching something that you always wanted to come back to and then this was a, a, a good route back into it for you? Coaching um, has always been, since I finished playing, has, has been um, uppermost in my mind. Um, once I'd left Middlesbrough as manager, I, I needed a, a year or so to, to go and do things with my family that I hadn't been able to when I was playing and managing. Um, but then I wanted to edu educate myself in the best way possible and to travel and to learn from watching coaches within football, but also in other sports, within uh, leaders within business. Um, and my time here as head of elite development uh, allowed me to see an enormous amount of, uh, of best practice. So. It, it, certainly over the last two years I was clear in my mind what I wanted to do. Um, I also wanted a challenge, you know, I wanted to be challenged, to, to get out of a, any sort of comfort zone because um, I think you have to try and attain things in life. Very often they're difficult um, and um, I, don't, I didn't want to take something on because it was easy, you know, this, this will be a challenge but it will be something that I'm really looking forward to. and. Um, I hope to play a big part in developing these uh, th these young players that are that are in the system. I've had the experience of travelling to the Under-20 World Cup and, and doing a bit of coaching with them, so that's invaluable. And um, I, I think that will be helpful for structuring the week and, and making sure that it's exciting and enjoyable for the players as well as their learning. And we're trying to win. Uh, we're not trying to win. Um, uh, for winning's sake, you know, we, we're not going to change the way that we play just to win. Um, but winning will help breed confidence and ultimately at this age we've got to try and learn how to win. But the manner in which we play and the manner in which we use the ball and, and um, that the, there are creative players in the side is very important to me. The group we're in has obviously already started, um, so we're a couple of fixtures behind most of the other sides. But um, it's good to have those games to look forward. I think that will be quite an intense period by the time we've, we've had those three blocks of matches and then travelling out to the clubs trying to build relationships with the clubs and with the players. So there'll be a lot to, to work out in a very short space of time. But again, that's, 
that's one of the reasons for wanting to do it. You know, it's, um, I enjoy hard work and um, I'm looking forward to that aspect of it.